A decision on a new controversial curriculum may take place later this morning. Well, the State Board of Education will consider approving Blue Bonnet Learning. It's a curriculum developed by the Texas Education Agency, TEA, but it is infused with biblical references. Now, the State Board of Education was set to hold a preliminary vote on the curriculum last night, but delayed it. KB's Kelsey Sanchez joins us now with more on the curriculum and what's next. Good morning, Kelsey. Good morning, Adam and Yvonne. Well, this new curriculum will be for lessons in English and language arts and will cater to elementary school students, but it's caused a lot of controversy about what should be allowed. Now, this new curriculum was developed because of a new Texas law which requires TEA to create material for public schools that the Board of Education approves. Now, this material would include Bible stories for those in kindergarten through fifth grade. Back in September, TEA listened to hours of testimony from parents and groups who supported the curriculum, which was then modified soon after. But some still feel it's not enough. And yesterday, once again, several people for and against the curriculum spoke out. Not only is learning about common stories and phrases from the Bible important in a student's understanding of history, but it is the First Amendment right to have access to this information. It will be appalling if a political appointee who wasn't even on the ballot is the deciding vote on approving this error-riddled, constitutionally inappropriate curriculum. Now, if the State Board of Education passes a proposal, districts won't be forced to use it, but there will be an incentive in state funding for the ones that do choose to adopt it. Now, the Texas School Board is set to reconvene this morning at 830. Live in downtown Austin, I'm Kelsey Sanchez, KB News.